one of the biggest inter-institute competition in Nagaland, Pao Wow 2023 Youth Festival came to end today with Tetsuo College being declared as the overall winner and Patkai Christian College as the runner-up. The three-day youth festival witnessed at least 20 institutes actively participating in 18 events. Special guest of the closing ceremony, Kejangulia Rio, President Nagaland Cricket Association, was speaking to the participants highlighted on the importance of being humble and maintaining a personal relationship with God because this way one becomes a blessing to people around him or her. Let's have a look at the details. The runners-up for this year's edition of Powwow 2023 and that is Bankai Christian College. Our champion for the 2023 Powwow is Denzel College. There are five things that I would like to share with you today. The first point is that we must be humble. Whether you are a leader or a follower, humility is a virtue we all need to cultivate. Unfortunately, for many of us, pride as a vice, a bad habit, comes more naturally. I have struggled with pride myself, but I have come to learn that when you know yourself, accept yourself, you, being to treat, you begin to treat yourself and others better. A well-known Naga preacher and a teacher and a good friend defined humility as the willingness to be known for who you are, not more, not less. In other words, be true to yourself and others. Being humble requires you to admit to your mistakes, your flaws and weaknesses without falling into self-pity. That is very important. And this is harder for some people than others. I have observed that we Nagas, especially when we are young in and in, in inexperienced, but you have some knowledge, you want to portray yourself as a confident person. And this is not bad in itself, but when pride seeps in and you refuse to accept that you do not know enough, you become arrogant. And arrogance breeds contempt. There was a young man who worked for me some years ago. He was smart and confident, but was arrogant. He didn't like being corrected. He would listen to advices, but he wouldn't follow through. He thought he knew better than anyone, so he disregarded others and became disrespectful. Time and again, he would make mistakes and get into trouble. Ultimately, we had to let him go as the company could no longer take the responsibility for him. Believe me, in my line of work, I have encountered all types of people. I have also had the greatest privilege to meet some of the giants in the business world. Lord Anthony Bamford, the owner and chairman of JCB. And Noel Tata, the stepbrother of Ratan Tata, who is the chairman of Trends and Tata Investment Corporation, to name a few. These men are the world, world's ultimate business leaders and yet their most striking quality was humility. And I have realized that some of the most successful people in the world are the most humble.
So my advice to you and to myself also is to be humble, to learn, to grow, and to be successful. Secondly, we must have mentor role models. Someone who inspired, someone who will inspire and help you to do better than you already are. I, ha I have been so fortunate to have people in my life that I look up to who are wiser, more knowledgeable, and much more successful than I am. These people have shared their skills, knowledge, and expertise to help me grow into a better version of myself. Sometimes your mentor will be brutally honest with you, but with the best of intention, and you might not like it. I have not. But the purpose is to help you overcome your shortcomings and to succeed. My dad is a perfectionist. He will keep pushing people to bring out the best that is possible. Some people would find him offensive because of this. But I have learned something very valuable. I used to tell my wife how my dad has never complimented me on jobs well done. I am not saying that he is not encouraging, but I don't recall him ever verbally praising me for my achievements. And in my defense, I think I have made some worthy, praiseworthy achievements. But my wife pointed out something to me the other day, which got me thinking. She said, your dad's way of telling you that you have done well is by entrusting you with more responsibilities because he trusts you and therefore he believes you he believes you will be able to execute the next task successfully this made me realize that he doesn't want me to be complacent or to be easily satisfied he wants to keep pushing me to be better mentor role models will do this for you there are people who have already experienced much of hardship, success, and failures that are inevitable in life. So, not only do you learn to do better things through them, but you also learn from their mistakes not to repeat them. Remember that nobody is perfect. So, do not look for perfection in your role models, but they must have the virtues that you want to emulate. Thirdly, we must work hard and persevere. You are blessed, blessed to be a part of this wonderful gathering, blessed to be a student, blessed with talent, knowledge, and so much more. And we need the grace, the wisdom, and the strength that comes from God to carry the responsibilities that have been thrust on us. As young people, there are many distractions I know. You will sometimes struggle to make the right choices, but trust God through prayer to accomplish and fulfill His purpose for you. Rely on God to give you humility, to put the right mentor role models in your life, to give you the strength and will to work hard and persevere. Even when the going gets tough, and for you to find the right books to read at the right time. In conclusion, Thomas Edison once said that if we all did things that we were capable of doing, we would literally astonish ourselves. So let's go on and astonish, so go on and astonish yourself. Show yourself what you are capable of achieving. I wish each one of you the very best and the best of luck for your future.